Congratulations on purchasing your V-Switch drive. Here is a quick demonstration on how you can quickly switch between drive settings and how you can use it as a handy diagnostic tool. But before we get started, make sure you go to vz.com forward slash software to download and install the latest user guide and software. Inside your V-Switch drive box, you'll find the V-Switch drive device, a quick start guide, a USB cable, and an OBD2 connection cable. Your V-Switch drive will enable you to switch between a number of drive modes in just a matter of minutes. Park is perfect for valet parking or leaving your car at a long stay car park by reducing the speed and power delivery. Classic takes your car back to its factory original settings. For diesels, you can choose Eco for more miles using less fuel, but increases in power delivery. Fusion is the perfect blend of power and economy, offering improved fuel efficiency over Classic, but a sportier drive than Eco. Next is Excite. For enhanced performance, perfect for a sporty experience, but still suitable for normal public roads. And finally, Thrill. This turns your car up to 11, a great mode for track days. Before you begin, we strongly recommend that you connect your vehicle to a battery stabilizer whenever you're communicating with the vehicle. And also make sure that any ancillary systems are all switched off, things like air conditioning, heated seats, or the radio. First, plug in your OBD2 cable into the V-Switch drive, and then into the diagnostic port on the vehicle. Using the touchscreen on the device, select tuning. Then select your vehicle manufacturer, model, and engine size, or BHP variants. Using the up and down arrow keys to navigate between pages, select your vehicle and then use the right arrow to continue. When prompted, switch your vehicle to ignition 2, a message will appear asking to read the ECU. Select yes. This will now download a copy of the ECU data to the V-Switch drive. During the communication process, please do not disconnect or adjust the ignition settings unless instructed to do so. This may take a few minutes to read, but do not leave the vehicle during this time and remember to follow all on-screen prompts. You may of course notice that the dashboard lights do flash. Don't worry, that's perfectly normal. Once the V-Switch drive device has finished saving files, press OK. You can now unplug your V-Switch drive and switch off your vehicle. Plug in your device into your computer using the USB cable. Open the V-Switch drive software you installed earlier and it will automatically connect to your device. Go to download data on the left and press start to save the data to your computer. Please include your vehicle details, the age and mileage of the vehicle, the details of any existing modifications on that vehicle and your V-Switch drive number. That's the VS number that's found on the silver sticker on the device. And be sure to include the details of the drive settings you wish to include for the V-Switch drive that you've purchased. Your tune file will then be returned to you by email, so download that attachment and save it to your computer. But remember, when you're saving it, please don't change the name of the file or the file extension. You will receive one single file back that includes all of the drive settings that you've selected. Using the V-Switch drive software we used earlier, go to Upload Data and select the file you just saved. Press to confirm the upload, and when the software has finished uploading, you can unplug the device from the computer. Now you've set up your V-Switch drive. Now your file is uploaded to your V-Switch drive, it's time to go back to your vehicle. Ensure the battery stabilizer is still connected to the vehicle and as before, plug the V-Switch drive into the diagnostic port using the OBD2 cable. Using the touch screen on the device, select tuning and then press yes to continue. Select the drive setting you wish to apply to the vehicle, then press the right arrow to continue. The V-Switch drive is now connecting to the vehicle's ECU. When prompted, turn your vehicle on to ignition 2 and ensure that all ancillary systems are switched off and then press OK. Do not switch off or unplug the device during the writing process, even though you may notice the vehicle's dashboard flashing. This is perfectly normal. And when prompted to, follow the on-screen instructions. Switch off your vehicle, then press OK. Some vehicles may require up to five restarts of the engine to clear any communication faults though. You can now unplug your V-Switch drive and enjoy your chosen drive setting. To use your V-Switch drive as a diagnostic tool, connect a battery stabilizer and plug the V-Switch drive into the diagnostic port using the OBD2 cable. Using the touchscreen, select Diagnosis. Then My Vehicle. Use the right arrow to continue 
the V-Switch drive is now connecting to your vehicle's ECU. When prompted, switch your vehicle to ignition 2 and press OK. The V-Switch drive will now read your vehicle's ECU and display any fault codes it finds. If your device finds any faults, retain those codes by pressing no and at your earliest convenience, take the vehicle to your nearest qualified mechanics to diagnose and fix any problems. Do not switch between drive settings until your vehicle is in good working order. Press OK to finish and then left and back to return to the main menu. Now you know how to use your V-Switch drive. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call on 01789 77444 or email us at info at vzoo.com.